This is the 9 to 5 from Lems. This is their most formal option. They do have this in a black colorway as well. And in this review, we're gonna figure out if this is the barefoot dress shoe of your dreams. Now, as I said, this shoe stands as Lems' most formal offering. It's 145 USD, although I was able to snag this for like 40 Australian dollars off of eBay because this was the older Gen 1 version as evidenced by the original Lems logo. Let's actually begin with the overall appearance. The 9 to 5 boasts a full grain leather upper, a cap toe design. It has the same soles as some of Lems' other more casual offerings like the Chillum, the Boulder Boot, um, you'll see this same pattern there as well. And I must say, I really like the rich brown color of the upper. Around the back, you do have some padding here on the sides and the back of the shoe. And this has four eyelets, open lacing. This is their medium width last. So you'll see on their website, it is in the middle line of their width spectrum alongside some other shoes. And true to its barefoot nature, it is a zero drop sole and it is pretty flexible. This is a 9mm sole, so a bit on the thicker, more cushioned side of the barefoot shoe spectrum. I have shoes which are 4 or 5 millimeters and are definitely thinner and more flexible than this one, but this could be good as a transition shoe or if you just want a bit more cushioning. Now speaking of its overall appearance, if you're already more of a traditionalist, you'll probably comment that this isn't really a formal dress shoe design. It has open lacing, it does have a bit of a bulbous um, toe box, which you know is necessary because you still want this to be quite wide. The back is a bit chunky and it has a sneaker-like sole, so naturally not super formal. Now in contrast, a brand like Carrots, which has a faux heel, it has a pointier toe because your toes actually end up here on this end. So they're still able to achieve that dress shoe silhouette and they have closed lacing. So this is definitely more formal and more appropriate for extremely formal settings like weddings or funerals and the like. However, in 2023, where dress codes are a bit more relaxed, if your dress code just requires leather shoes, you should be fine with these, especially if you don't really mind the aesthetic. Now, I do say that the wide toe box, the round toe box, this is a bit of an acquired taste. And for me, initially, I was a bit turned off by it. But now that I'm seeing this as more of a business casual, shoe. I'm now trying to just style these like they were low-cut Doc Martens. And I think that's where I've found a place for this shoe in my collection. The only thing that's interesting for me is that Lems is still trying to make it a bit more formal by adding a cap toe, which is inherently for more formal dress shoes. I wish they had just gone away with this and just embraced the sort of barefoot Doc Martens nature of this shoe. Because I think it would have looked a bit better without the cap toe. Now, while they can work with business casual settings like I explained, because I do work in tech, I don't really have a dress code to adhere to. I've just been wearing these more casually like I would a pair of Doc Martens. So maybe with some selvedge denim and a t-shirt. If I do want to dress up a bit, maybe I'll put on like a very light seersucker blazer like I'm doing here. I'm, and I'm trying to experiment with jorts as well because jorts are now in again apparently. I'm not sure if I'm succeeding though. Let me know what you think in the comments. Now, in terms of real world use, in terms of comfort and wear, these are very similar to some of my other Lems shoes that I've reviewed before, like the Lems Chillum and the Lems Chukka, because they are the same outsole. It offers a lot more flexibility than a traditional sneaker while still giving you a bit of cushioning. And if that's what you're looking for, then this will be an awesome shoe for you. This will also be great if you're still new to barefoot shoes and still need to walk decent distances. This won't be as jarring as a transition shoe. Um, compared to if you go with a much more minimal shoe brand. I've even applied some beeswax to this and worn them in the rain and these are sort of now my go-to for um, light drizzles because they do effectively become a bit waterproof when you wax them. And after several months of regular wear, I can confidently say that they are a great addition to my barefoot shoe collection. Now in conclusion, Yes, this isn't really a traditional dress shoe by any means, but if you're looking for a shoe that is full grain leather and still adheres to barefoot shoe standards and is still super comfortable, then this could be the shoe for you. If you're strictly looking for something which can be called a traditional dress shoe, then maybe check out something like the Carrots. But this is, I think, twice the price of this one. So at this price range, I think this is one of the better options you can get. And if you're interested about my thoughts on traditional dress shoes, check out this video right here.